Hey. Yeah. What up? Earth the cramp. <laughs> <laughs> so your Stace just got here. Right. Stace is here. This is Stace the Formalities, the Formalities podcast. I'm Clemps. This is Lenny. It's your boy Lenny over there. He's back. From Lenny's Bonnaroo. back from Bonnaroo. Hell yeah. That shit was right. Cram in the building. And we didn't have a show last week because our guest rescheduled on us. So yeah. And we could have had a real show. We could have had a real show, but Lenny was coming back from Bonnaroo. I wanted to give him a little rest. Cram wanted to go to Philly to do whatever the fuck. I was in Philly. Cheese steaks. <laughs> what was you doing in Philly? <laughs> I had to uh, register my car the legal way. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was riding dirty. Still? <laughs> nah, I'm lit now. I, I just took the... um. Took the <laughs> took the plate off my old car, my Honda. Yeah, and I was just riding around three months. <laughs> well, you sold it already, or what? Crazy. Yeah, I sold yeah. the shit, but I had my shit. I was riding around with the Honda. Word for the longest, like I was lit. I was, I did good though. Okay. <clears throat> so what? I was. Yeah. This is how we do, Stace. I'm Shout here. out to Stace. It was good. Stace in the building. Finally, He's here. <laughs> Finally, from submissions, this could happen. I just want all the artists to know that this could happen. This right. could be you. You could go from <laughs> submissions. Yeah. Prime example. <laughs> to us playing submissions for big big name people. Right. To being on the podcast. Right. That's possible. Very possible. It's real. It's real. It's real. We trying to help every artist out here. A lot of artists. Especially the ones we like. So <laughs> <laughs> Well on behalf of the artists, man, I appreciate that. That's good. I really do. No man. doubt. <laughs> All right, so this is how we start, Stace. I'm going to ask Cram, how was your week? Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that was straight to the point. Yo, um, this past weekend was 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 kind of tough. Well, not really, but my, um, um, yeah, my, 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 my shorty went down south for the weekend. She left me upset over some Twitter shit. Over what? What did you do? Some, I, it was some old. It was some old tweets. I was getting real nasty. With the <laughs> but Twitter. she left you. you the said? tweet. Nah, she she went to visit um her mom's. But okay. oh. I was supposed to go, but I, I I opted out. You know, give her that space. But what word, happened? Word. Can we get the play by play? What I was, was about to say, what how, happened? How detailed in two thousand in two thousand thirteen? In two thousand thirteen. Two thousand thirteen. So, off. Please. A nigga was turned up. You know what I'm saying? The Twitter after dark. Twitter was live last okay. year. Okay. okay. Twitter after Twitter dark. Two thousand thirteen. Hmm. You need the Wi-Fi. Oh shit! If you got it, yeah, yeah. I was gonna pull up yeah, my own. Up. You know, I was gonna interrupt the show for that. <laughs> yeah, I got one of those to their mad clutch, mm-hmm. right? The four G yeah. box. Um, Shit's legit. <clears throat> so I was getting real, real nasty with the with the tweeters and right. all that uh-huh. stuff on Twitter. And she doesn't have a Twitter, okay? So, so she know. so she logged into yours. Nah, she didn't log in. My shit was public, so you could Google my shit. Oh. So, but I don't think it was her initial thing to do because she's not okay. the type to go so who do you think it was I really don't care to get into names alright so but the somebody did, talked it into yeah, one of these fucking cop ass them. girlfriends of hers this yeah. police work shit right and it was old shit though it wasn't really but it was it, I was saying some off the wall shit something that I never you know never thought twice about I just it, you know it was just Twitter fucking around yeah but um it, it rubbed her the completely wrong way she was upset yeah. um she was just pissed you know what I'm saying you know what I mean? There's nothing I could really do about it. It was there. There's no around it. There's no backstory. It's the whole conversation. Not, but it wasn't like you didn't say this is from 2013. It says it on a tweet. Okay, right. <laughs> but it's like it wasn't like um it wasn't leading to nothing. That's, that's what I explained to her. And um you know it wasn't it was that it wasn't about that. She doesn't know is my word against you know the situation. Were you all as serious as you are now back then? Nah, that's the thing too. We See, were, I was like friends back then. We was together, mm. but it was you know it was, it was, eh, it was off and on. Right? Okay, 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 okay. But was um, this the off part? Or? It might have been. I'm not too sure. Right. It was Twitter after dark. It was Twitter after dark. I got real reckless with the mouth. Uh huh. Gotcha. And um, you know, we all good now. Bust the cheeks down, real mm. good. <laughs> she got back. <laughs> Makeup sex the best sex. You heard? It is though. Beat yeah. it down. It is. So y'all, y'all talking, y'all back? Yeah, she she just and I was a text, but she just texted me. But we okay. cool, yeah, everything's good. All right, that's good. Nice. So because of that, your Twitter name changed. Yeah, so I I changed my Twitter. I deleted my old Twitter. Why? <clears throat> because of that whole fucking situation. But why? Because it's it, old news. She knew. If she y'all did, got over, I it, had Twitter wrong? since since Twitter was Twitter. You All right. Me? So what's the th- what's the problem? Because if if she go back even further, I don't. I just I have to, <laughs> I have to get up out of that. Pictures on there. You know, I retweeting these fat bitches with the asses oh and shit. Oh my god. He said, you god. know what? Fresh start. 
Delete, delete all that shit. Delete, delete all, all that, that shit, Piggy. Delete all that shit. So what's your Twitter now for everybody? My Twitter is cram, but it's it's, it's um, exaggerated as if you're yelling. So it's C R A A A M M. So it's three A's, two M's. Cram. Cram. Like you're yelling that shit. But um, yeah, and I, I I no longer have an Instagram too. That the Instagram deletion was on my behalf. It was all way before up. all the drama. It was before anything. I just had an impulse, and I was just like, yo. Delete that shit. He was doing some shit. I was at work. <laughs> Crazy. I was at shit. work. Long eight hour shift. And I just, you know what? I'm off this. No problem. My follow, I had like over 1,500 followers. You know, it was, it was light, but you know, I'm just chilling. So I was like, fuck it. I'm, I'll delete it. You know, that shit was getting corny anyway. I'm seeing the same model bitches, same corny as my bros. I, okay. I mean, it do get a little shit. old after a while. Okay. Old, it's not. <laughs> so Stace is in the building. How was your week, Stace? Mine was mad busy, man. Um, you bet you going on tour. Yeah, yeah, I'm on tour right how, now. How was the tour? Tour is dope. It's um, it's it's a lot of hard work. Uh, the name of my tour is called the Talented Mr. Ridgeway. Uh huh. Tour um or TMR, you know, pound TMR if people want to join in with that. But um, I just got back from Mexico. Nice um, part. That's crazy because uh, Lenny was just talking about he's going yeah. to Mexico at the end of the month. Oh, for real? Where? Or next month? Yeah. I'm with. not even sure exactly. He doesn't know. He's just going out there. He, yeah. He's a hippie. Oh, he's fucking hey, a hippie. Man. He's, he's driving. He's you driving. like a, a, a nomad. He's driving. He's, he's like going to stop in New Orleans. Bohemian yeah, nomad. Man. But you know, I'm about that life, though. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. I just like just traveling, popping up places and shit. Being just, super spontaneous. Yeah, just going, man. Like, that's what makes life exciting. But Hell um, yeah. So I was out in uh, Cancun and then went over to uh, Playa de Carmen, okay. um, which is an hour away from Cancun. Um, so I spent a couple of days out there. Then I went to Sacramento. Um, then I was out there in Sacramento, came to New York for like eight hours. And then I flew in that morning and then I flew out that evening. So I, I basically had enough time to just do my laundry and, Damn. and then leave. And then I was down in Atlanta and then South Carolina Went back to Atlanta so I could take a flight back up here. Damn. And this is my first time sleeping in my bed for like weeks. Damn. So where, Yo, where, that you, feels where are you bomb. from? Here. Yeah. I'm actually from Mount Vernon. Stop from Yeah, <laughs> man. Born in, born in Mount Vernon Hospital. So, okay. You know, but I live in a city, though. And, you know, the, the funny thing is, um, I left at six o'clock. Yeah. And I'm like, two hours for me to get here. That's enough time. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? But I, I hopped on the train, then I took a bus. And but then, why'd you do all that? What yeah. part of the city you live in? Uh, Midtown. You live Midtown? Yeah, I was about to get my address off for two just... seconds. I was like, wait, I was like, hold on, let me. Hold. But yeah, so I stay in Midtown. So you could have just, just hopped on it too, and then told us when you got to two forty first, and we could have picked you up. That I will say, I. I now this third of a long ass ride too. But but, see, but I didn't still, want to assume you guys were gonna come pick me up. Nah, I was just nah, thinking nah, like you could have just no asked. We got you. No, nah, I mean what? I mean now I know. You know what I mean? But I just didn't want to be like. Oh yeah, yeah, I thought you was gonna come pick me up. You know what I mean? Nah, so, nah, you could have just asked, like, yo, you, you want to come school me or whatever? Nah, I, I'm I coming got from you. here, like, yeah. nah, we know. Lenny, I got you. you know oh, what? Yeah. If you knew where Lenny was coming from, you'd be like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I would have been here, man. And, and for those of you all listening, I was supposed to be here at eight o'clock. I you showed did. up at seven fifty nine and thirty <laughs> seconds of a. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never show up right at the time you're supposed to be there. I was. But you so here. Uh, but I'm here, well, you yeah. know. So uh, my cabbie made two two wrong turns. I don't know how I feel about that. But, uh, <laughs> you know. Them city cab niggas, man. Yeah, man. It's crazy. But I'm I'm here. So that's how my week was. You Word. Know, my, my Traveling. Busy, but, hell yeah, that sounds crazy. Just travel. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to do with myself, y'all. <laughs> Just flying around like crazy, y'all. A lot of shit, man. That's wild. <clears throat> I never even been on a fucking plane. You lying. He's Seriously? never been on the plane. The furthest I've ever been. We're going to pop his sherry soon. The <laughs> uh, hey, yo. Yo, the furthest <laughs> I've ever been was North Carolina. Pause on that. But you've never been on the plane. Never been on the plane. Took a bus to North Carolina. It's the furthest I've ever been. Which is the stupidest shit ever. Yeah. North Carolina is, is, is fun. It's a fun yeah, place I to be. I, I've never taken a bus. Public transportation bus. You, I know, can't you can't do, do it? it? I cannot do it. I um, took a bus all the way to Florida one time. Son, ruined from, from here? my whole yes, ruined my whole bus. It's a two day trip. Yeah, 
Why, why would you do that? Uh, I stopped in DC. <laughs> I stopped in North Carolina, South Carolina, Atlanta. <laughs> I was stopping God. everywhere, and I'm like, this bus can kiss my first ass. First of all, first I of all, I took a flight back. I was like, I can't. do What this. bus did you take? Because I've been on them all. Did you I say think you, Greyhound? I think Greyhound, yeah. Yeah, yeah Greyhound, I hate Greyhound. Greyhound does the most layovers. They do the most stops. I hate now, had bro, you had I a never Chinese took, nigga, you It was been like a spur of the moment thing. I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to get on the bus and we just going to hop out to Florida. But all of though, the Chinese bus, the niggas don't stop for nothing. <laughs> You'd have probably been there in 24 hours. I swear Greyhound uh, stops at every exit. Everything. The, everything. If the driver is fucking tired, we got to pull it over. Anyway. Three hour layover. Well, Lenny drove to Bonnaroo. Yeah, that was a trip. Word. How was Bonnaroo? Yo, Bonnaroo was crazy, man. Four days of just recklessness. Yeah, I don't if remember. You guys are listening to this. He did not post on the site. <laughs> I got pictures. He did not up. send the pictures. <laughs> he did not do anything I asked of him. He was caught in the moment. Yeah, I got pics coming though. He Yo, was, half the time my phone was dead though. He was right, having right, sex right. half the moment, probably. Uh, oh, doing something. <laughs> Wilding. We're going in this tent, that tent. No, he was in this other, tent, other, that the tent, other one. and the other tent. <laughs> With this bitch and that bitch. <laughs> Yo, but it was wild. It was pretty dope. I got to like recap everything from the pictures and throw it up. Because like, if I was to tell you the whole trip, it'd take an entire episode. Bro, but I need you to do... You going to Mexico. No, you, no, no, you so know you what? Gotta yeah. do, hold on, hold on. I, I definitely Avengers got pictures from Mexico, from Mexico This is how we get your ass. You got to write a post Oh yeah. on the website. You have to post the, you. Um, the whole write it out. Type it up. Type it all out. Hell yeah. <laughs> Got you. That ass. It's only right. It's only right. Yo, it's crazy Detailed. though. With every tent. This tent, every that tent. tent that that this, you went to. Yo, tent. one of the tents, I forgot which one it was, but it had like the Mario Kart question mark. And that yeah. shit was dope. This dude Skrillex performed there, embodied it. Uh, I was about to ask who's your, your, your favorite. Yeah, what was your favorite Blake. performance that night? I'd say either uh, James Blake, Banks, or the Flaming Lips. Mm. I was mad, disappointed about Kanye. I wanted to like, I was hoping he'd like kill it. Yeah. But like, remember how last time he did Bonnaroo, they like boot him off. And yeah, shit? yeah, yeah. He ain't going to like four or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. This time they had that same attitude with that whole fuck Kanye shit. Mm -hmm. His whole fan base down south hates him. Like they were going in hating on him. So when he performed, he just started ranting. Mm -hmm. He'll play like one or two songs, then rant for like twenty minutes on an hour set. Right, right, wow. right. So towards the end of the show, I was like, "Yo, fuck this, we're leaving." What was he ranting about? Honestly, he was borderline why to get booed off stage. What crazy. Was he ranting about? I was surprised if he did that show up here, he'll be getting crazy praise. Like people be going wild, but like down there, they don't <laughs> fuck with him. Right. It's wild. I was it's surprised. A it's a different world out there. Yeah, it's some other shit, man. So you got any must haves? Must haves. So yo, in a way, you should have them stockpiled. Like, yo, there's some dope Y3s. Adidas, the Kaza Racers. You ever heard of them shits? No. Nah. Dope. Kaza Racers? Kaza, yeah. Q-A-S-A. -A. Kwaza. Kaza. If it starts with a Q, I, I think If it was Q-U, it would be Kwa. What is Ka. it? What is it? Q-A-S-A. <laughs> Everybody <-A> Googles. S-S. <laughs> Kwaza. Kwaza. Kaza. Kwa Kaza Racer. Kasa it's racer. Adidas? Them shits are hard. Yeah, Y3 Adidas, the okay. Yoji Yamamoto joints. You fuck with those? Yo, fire. What else What else is on your radar as far as the fashion goes? Um, Nothing that I'd cop. There's the whole new Ralph Simmons collection. There's fucking the new Rick Owens collection. The triple There's black mad quasi racers? Coming out. This shit look There's ugly a dude. as fuck. Let me see. <laughs> nah, I fuck with them. The racers? <laughs> I mean, they're ugly to you, but to me, I fuck with them. I'll kill them shits. These shits is three hundred and thirty-five dollars too. For real? All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mad I don't, money. I don't get it. Like, why? Why the fuck them shits be so much, man? Seriously, demand. Yeah, that, that's man. that's all the quality. Yo, honestly, when they first came out, they were probably like 180, 200, and yeah. then Kanye West threw them on. Mm -hmm. Now they're like four hundred dollars. Yeah, that shit goes. ain't right, man. It's definitely three hundred. Oh, I see how they look. It's kind of cool. I just don't like the sides of them. Yeah, I love them shits. That's it. <laughs> that yo, there's a Supreme collection that came out with the Vans. You saw them shits? Yeah, those are pretty dope. I wouldn't cop them, but I know a lot of people fuck with those. Okay. Locally, there's this dude who started a brand. It's called Elsewhere. Elsewhere? Yeah, it's pretty dope. Okay. He has like, um, you ever remember the old school BBC yeah. with the tie-dye mm -hmm. drips? He has a shirt like that. It's a long sleeve and it goes from like a violet and it blends to gray and then white. That shit is fire. I got to post that. He has an item here with the Basquiat crown. 
See? Wait, telling who? you. Who? Telling me. We was talking about <clears throat> our, what was it? Our, our logo. logo. The Twitter logo. I changed up the, the, the crown. And they're saying that the Basquiat logo is better than the crown that we have now. I mean, because it's, it's identifiable. Yeah. It's going to catch your eye every time you see it. But it's too over overused, I think. To who, sir? According to me. You. That's it. <laughs> if you Google Basquiat crown, you see a thousand niggas with the shit. Because that with nigga the Basquiat crown. is the, the same crown. I don't want that to represent our brand. He's a nice. Part of he's a, oh, because he's a fucking heroin addict. No, because well, it because least? it's just overused by every other brand. So you you don't really feel like the it's not it's not exclusive anymore. The formalities. Yeah, his, his stuff that's why got I switched saturated. up the crown and it looks different. Right. It's still Basquiat esque. No, exactly. but it's originally <laughs> it's original. It's ours. I haven't even seen the new crown. Where is it on? It's on our Twitter. It's on everything. Yeah, it's on the Twitter definitely. With that, uh, I see it. I see it. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> with that, let's take a break, and then we'll come back with the full Stace interview. Right. Word. Let's get it. All right. All right. Somebody called and said the rap gang needs They talk, fuck it, they talked about G 
G's still hate. Yeah, they hate it on G the real way. They talked about G's. This one here is for all non believers. They talk. Fuck it, they talked about G's still hate. Yeah, they hate it on G the real way. You know, they talked about G's. I could care less about a rapper and his entourage. I don't give a fuck about a phantom. It's not in my garage. Quick to take a project, bitch, to a travel line. Fuck it to some Mary J. Blige. Get out of Dodge. Dirty nigga. But all my dope clean, though. And I got fish scale for sale. Fuck you, mean ho. You niggas crack under pressure. Tim Tebow. The shots didn't hit and you was at the free throw. I let my heat go. Pull off with my seat low. Girl smoking, I keep asking banks where do we go. Still with the shit. Still searching for a kilo. I'm the reason. Why these niggas peeping out they peephole? Somebody called and said the rap game needs them. They talk, fuck it, they talked about G. Still hate, yeah, they hate it on G. The real way, they talked about G. This one here is for all non believers. They talk, fuck it, they talked about G. Still hate, yeah, they hate it on G. The real way, you know, they talked about G. Wouldn't dent the armor at them niggas all together. Nah. Louis Summers sweater, Yankee on his god dweller. Gamma belt fly fella, they think all of mine's vanilla. Six or seven more flavors out in Vegas with weather. Like my kush up in the Hall of Fame. Uh. Caveman, break out your ball and chain. I walk straight to walk a shame. Your life's plain. Scoop me through here like the president. Royal room, he gotta tell the hoes what hoes tell her. Man, you never been. You out here regular. Ain't got one heckler. I'm walking second. As long as they got neck to get. Salute you ever see me, I'm a vet. CD full of crap. Easy with the grills, click clack. Ah. Somebody called and said the rap came. Feel like 50 after them bullets had a party All I want is revenge, these rappers getting high me We can get it shaking, like Muhammad Ali Might take a shot at myself like Pac in the lobby But I will never shoot myself, no cheddar Bobby But I'm getting cheddar cause my flow crack like Bobby Not from Miami, but I roll with a shower posse Tina and Kalani, who pussy you get the Sani Two credit cards scamming bitches from Brooklyn kinda grimy They pussy you get wet if you even talking about money Flatbush finest, your royal highness We supposed to be scheming, but them bitches stay the highest Yo, y'all bitches stay high, man Yo, right? First take, I just wrote this shit, bear with me Check it out Feel flan, flan, feel to the flam SB cool, goddamn Now let me tell you who the motherfucker I am JD the man like spam, come in a can Fat like Sam, the rap like spam And sweeter than Graham Candy Gam Known as Hustle Scam or Slam Gam Yeah, right here, check it out Back to the subject, that hand So listen, I flow like the piss on my dick when I'm pissing SB gets crunch time, that's be quick Niggas irritating like a pesky bitch Nosey, get most of these hoes sick They need the most going out of my face to bust this I bust rap like the blood to bust cap Doing it just like Crips to bust back Ignorant with it, all of my niggas talk trash Back to trash, talking with a can of what fast Match a nigga fast and ain't scared to blast You heard me just serving that good grass I had to stash weed for cash, trash to have Pass the gat and dash, the fair stash my ass Fuck that, it'll never happen Knock on wood And whether it's the rapping or the streets that I'm flipping like the rail and the capping, I'm not stopped by the control. Pimp slapping, them niggas snapping, probably the same niggas snapping. Shook like the voice, trees and chirping. Filth line and flaw, filth, what the fuck, suck my dick and good night. Every tune was a hit. It wasn't. Hey, Mary Jane, you know what I'm saying? You love take four. It's like all six on each side was Bone clad, brass clad, blood clad, and yeah. every kind of clad yeah. you can think of. Oh. I'm a visionary, get the eyes of the self made money gang niggas up there. They can see a little bit of them in me. Roll trees, I'm a young Steve Jobs. When I get to 21, I'ma be handing out jobs, and that ain't even a lot compared to what I'm really about to do. When I dare you to ever wanna stop me, nah, no, never. Give me that title, I'll make it better. Give me any challenge, a jelly, and I'll never. That ain't even much. I ain't even bragging as such. Never will I ever be a rush. Rev up the lift up the clutch. Labels don't get me. I must be speaking in Dutch. Oh, what the fuck? Lyrically bury these rappers alive. Come back and finish my lunch. Cheeky, I know it enough. They rate the average rapper. Niggas is lost. Pay me to talk to the boss. You watch for quality, why are you watching the cost? Spend all your money on Gucci, why are you stunting? I just roll up in Lacoste Many get ready to all floss, trying to be heavy to weight loss Give me a second to break lots, buckling baggers I make lots Here and I'm ready to take shots, bringing it to me and ain't lost uh. Why would you be surprised when the third eye is the main watch? I advise you to make ties with a stay boss and deprive you with stay fries like a stray dog Oh, alright, seems not every day it's 
kill him. Why so aggressive? Some motherfuckers never love me. I'm fighting Jack so I be here, be forgotten. I ain't even got to tell him I'm a fucking problem. No, I keep a humble wine into all the flossing. Get them hands up at the shows, I get it popping. Read between the lines, why you acting like you don't know the space? Space age would define what is great. I put my mind in a place where I don't focus on the time of the day. Man, I got too much to say, let me say it. Put my verse on a quick loop when you play it. I ain't never got to impress you when I spray it. When I blow big, even though that's chaos. Do you remember the evidence I'm rating? Everybody knows I'm a clever young lass with a little sass. Trying to put my city on the map. When Taylor were back, I was never gone on back. I'm just trying to buy a little Zegger race right, at. Give me that. Uh, yeah, right here. Er, uh, no, never mind. P Rock. Yeah. Uh, said. Cigarillo, oh. bigger than armadillos oh. I might go schizo, pistol under the pillow oh. Abysmo, flow hot as fire and brimstone Sunning these rappers, calling them kiddo It's simple, simple. simple. I'm watching movies with the sound off sound In the dark, my shadow colder than a groundhog Ground So I'm eating Chinese food with the brown sauce Fuck bitches, nothing but a hound dog okay. Count off to a million Do you have time? Blast off when you lift it Have you been this high? Whoa. Drifting by? Give time and kiss goodbye Cause I'm gone, I'll be back as soon as pigs can fly I'm the first time Peyton let the pigs get fly yeah. It is I, that is Tony Lipton My shit is addicting, addicting. Aliens are listening. listening Listen to this Why won't you let the rain rain Clouds, clouds, melt Niggas and bitches, salute a motherfucking G when you see him, you know? L-O-X D block up in this bitch. Act like you know I get fucked up. Summertime. Fuck it, I'm going in. Yo, let him bang, nigga. Bang, bang. We don't call the cops. Certified G, nigga, riding on these blocks. Uh -huh. Ain't a rapper you know that ain't listen to the locks. No ain't a bitch that you know that ain't on one of our cocks. Yeah, these squares that I roll, hats for cheap. Big ass guns that I'm riding with is half the G. Yeah. Come in your house while you laying there, half asleep. Wake Come up. on your block or whatever, and I ain't half as deep. Oh. Getting money as a youngin'. I'm trying to French kiss all the bitches as a kid. They won't let me put my tongue in. Now look what I'm bugging. Rope on my neck is longer and thicker than the ones we got hungin'. Yeah. Put four fingers up and Tuck your thumb, salute the guard when you see him always shooting the one. This ain't for fun, this a full-time job. Shit. Little bitches like you was them niggas we robbed. <laughs> Jumping out the shop in the 80s. Bear coat hot in the 380s. Back then our block was like 80. You never knew who had it. Uh -huh. It took a while to find out who had it. Black radio playing that illmatic. Yes. I'm just saying I'm a Yonkers nigga. You don't compare us to a barrel. Long as you know our hand on trigger. Bang, bang, bang. motherfucker, it's them D-block boys. All that skinny jean rapper nigga kill that noise. <laughs> These niggas ain't bigger than me These niggas ain't Nas, ain't jigger than me These niggas ain't M, they ain't 50 to me You ain't Pun, you ain't Pac, you ain't Biggie to me These niggas ain't Crips, they ain't 60s to me These niggas ain't Bloods, they ain't dripping with me Niggas talking that shit by the new generation Man, fuck these niggas, I slash your fucking faces You niggas ain't so shit, not an album or a rock Pussy nigga putting rings on my old bitch Dick down the throat ass niggas, old hoe ass Niggas, happy cause you went gold ass niggas. These niggas ain't spitting with me. You ain't sicker than me. Fuck out my section, you ain't sitting with me. This for very important people. It's clear that we not equal. Clear you niggas faggots. I'm the black marshal mat. Like yin 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 on the motherfucker. Who needs Hulk Hogan when you got sting on this motherfucker? Less than five albums, kiss the ring on this motherfucker. California throne, and I'm the king on this motherfucker. Oh my god. All right, it's D-Formalities, D-Formalities.com. Stace in the building, Kramer in the building. Lenny's here. I'm Clemps. So, Stace. Yo. We're going to start we gonna start from the, you want, Kramer, you want to start from the beginning and make our way to well, today. Well, let's start from the beginning. Let's start with his first album. All right, let's first and it. foremost, Stace brought some gifts. Right. Yeah. Appreciate it's that. It's only right. He brought it's, us his first album. only right that he brings us some gifts so I could mm -hmm. pass this on mm -hmm. to people. The race you know I mean? back to me. 
right. Stace. The race back to me. Was this the first? This is the first album. That was the first album. Okay. Um, Wait. So before this album, what made you want to start rapping? Um. Well, first of all, everybody should know I'm a musician. Okay. That's what I consider myself uh, because I actually play instruments. What instruments nice. do you play? The piano, the drums, the bass, the lead guitar. Nice. So, you know, I, I actually know how to play. This is not... Um, and you'll hear a lot of that on this this, this first album. On the first album, right. which is The Race Back to Me. Right. Um, Wait, not, so you play by ear or do you read it? No, I play it by ear. I can't, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't, here. Yeah, I can't I read. I, I can't suck read at reading, too. At it's all. hard. Um, <laughs> Now, um, I've, I've, like I said, I'm a musician. I've been doing music all my life, so it never really occurred to me to become a rapper or to record this stuff. You know, I looked at music just like breathing or brushing my teeth. That was just something I did, and that was life, and that was it. You know what I mean? So my cousin, me and him, was joking around, just you know, rapping on the phone, and I'm, and I literally mean joking around. Like we just said some of the like the dumbest shit or whatever. Yeah. And he was just like. Yo, you should you should like record that. I'm like, man, for what? Like, nobody wants to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just saying the the wackest stuff. He's like, nah, you should really like just think about recording it. So one thing led to another, you know, and and I started putting out uh, mixtapes, you know. Um, and and the thing I like to tell people is I didn't have anybody in the industry to put me on or any friends. Yeah, nope. like no dog. Friends. When I say nobody, nobody. nobody. Yeah, there was no cousin, there was no friend, there was no connect, there was nothing. You know yeah. what I mean? So it was like me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, it, it was literally just hard work and talent. You know what I mean? That's what got me here to the formalities. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's literally hard work. So, anyway, I put out a couple mixtapes, some singles, and then decided to do my first project. Um, now, now this this album right here, the race back to me is not my best work, you know. Obviously, um, and I say that because that was done years ago, and you grow. You're supposed to grow. Yeah. yeah definitely. So that's not something. I'm not on the road with this album right now promoting this album, but I do give it out to those along with uh, a mixtape. Do you perform songs off this album? Yeah, and I still perform songs. Now, some of my 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 season fans. Yeah. They know songs off of that. Okay. You know what I mean? So when I get up there and I, I perform some of these songs, they know, you know, where it came from and, and how it all started. But right now, I'm on tour with uh, the talented Mr. Ridgeway. That's the name of my tour, again. Mm -hmm. And the name of the album, that's my sophomore album that's coming up is the talented Mr. Ridgeway. Okay. That's going to be the album that bangs. What? You know what I'm saying? So, so who's, who's Mr. Ridgeway? That's me. That's him. That's so, me. Okay. Where'd you, where you get the name Stace, though? Yeah. Well, that's my name. Okay. So <laughs> the the funny thing is, man, when I first started, I was thinking about... I changed my name twice, actually. I was thinking about a stage name. Because, again, when I say I just started with what I had, man, I didn't know if I was supposed to be like jay-z and get like a cool name or yeah. if i should be like young sleazy or oh no nah. I, I didn't know you know what i'm saying like i was just like well okay there's jeezy there's yeezy maybe i could be sleazy i don't know maybe i could be you know what i'm saying so i it, it was just one of those things where um it was just like man fuck it i'm about to just use my name like i don't i don't know any cats in the industry with the name stace okay. uh, except for brian stace that's a, a, a country singer um Nobody knows who he is, so you know <laughs> everybody's like, okay. as as hip -hop yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean. So um, I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna just use my name and, and just keep it 100, and I'm not putting anything in front or behind it. You know what I mean? No young Stace, no big Stace, no. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just it's just me. And, oh, it's and, dope, and that's it. So uh, you know, I, I ran with that, and you know, my last name is Ridgeway. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What was that? Yeah, um, so fucking kids next door <laughs> yo the race back to me what's like the concept behind the whole well the, the race back to me um wait hold up hold up hold up sorry before you get into uh -huh. that can you can you please the, the cover yeah you want me to explain it yeah tell, yeah. tell me what's going on i cover. well um for, for those of you listening right now you can log on to my website www.stace.co that's co not dot com all right Stace.co, 
and you can go and and find the first album so you know what we're talking about that way you guys can listen and follow along the first album it has me standing in the center i have on this suit and you see a couple people uh like the silhouette but you see them cut out yeah right. so there's four people in the room there's mm-hmm. a young lady to the left there's a young lady behind me with her hands raised there's a gentleman to my right or, or to the right on the CD, mm-hmm. uh, and it's looks, it looks like he's reaching out, touching me. And then there's a pair of legs in the background that are hanging off of the countertop, and that's a motel that we're in. Okay. Um, the race back to me, that entire thing symbolizes the journey or the start of where I am or where I was, excuse me, with music. Um, a lot of times you hear artists, we hear this all the time, artists, when they come when they finish with one record label or whatever and they, they sign with another, yeah. they always say this. With this album, I'm really getting back to me and getting back to what I love to do. <laughs> Everybody does that. What yeah, the fuck yeah, you been yeah. putting out these last couple albums? Was that not you? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly, yeah. So I'm just letting people know right off the start, like, I'm always racing back to me. Like, my goal is to always remain true to myself. So this race, this journey is ultimately gonna lead back to the very place i started at it's, it's coming back to me yeah you know what i'm saying so that's the whole point behind it um and there's actually a, a interesting story between each of the characters and like i said it's it's um it's on my site because every character plays a role like the young lady uh on the bed she's like barely dressed so that symbolizes like lust you know women in the industry and just things that can tempt you the young lady in the back so her hands are reaching up, so she's symbolizing like praying, you know, like my 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 closer walk, or like an angel looking over me. And the young dude on the right, who's in the picture, is actually dressed just like me. He's holding the Bible, but you can't see it in the cutout. So it's kind of like um, another version of me, just again, just everything dealing with the walk. And then the the young lady in the back with the legs on the counter represents the women that I've killed. You know, the hearts ah. that I've broken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we're in a motel, you know. So it, it, it there's a story behind it. Yeah. You know, it's just a, you know, a complete package. Um, and again, it's not really something I promote right now because I'm not, I'm in a different you're mental. Past, yeah, man. That. You know what I mean? But uh, it is something that I still hand out to everybody along with my mixtape because they do need the... You know, the, the, the past and the future. Exactly. The so, you know what I'm saying? So they can understand where I'm at now, and then they see, like, oh, okay, this is where it came from. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? So, you know, okay. that that's that's the album. You know, there's a, a post inside, you know, if you guys want to open that so up. Then, yeah. So you so you released this album, and then what happened? Uh, well, I released that. It was in stores at DTLR. Um, you guys heard it. Is there a DTLR up here? And they, uh, I think they just go as, as high as, like, D.C., yeah, nah, I don't think this one out here. All right. Well, DTLR is like a, it's like an urban. I can't, it, not really a, a flight club, but kind of, kind of like, kinda a, like a, a Jimmy Jazz, if you will. Okay, Just okay, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It got store, it got clothes and sneakers, and you know, it's an urban store. It got records in it. Um, so that was the like the most known store that that record was in. It was in some other smaller stores online as well. I'll put that out, and basically that was it. That was as far yeah. as that record went, you know. They, but did how many did you how many people responded to this? Did a lot of people respond to that? No. No. And I'm gonna tell you why. Um back then I wasn't doing what I'm doing now. Okay. Uh right now with the tour, this first half of the tour is the promo yeah. tour. That's why I'm going everywhere. You know, I'm taking my products and I'm literally going out to meet everybody, shaking hands, and you can see that on the site, you know. You can see, like, I'm literally just reaching out to people, like, introducing myself. You know, this is who I am. This is what I do. Um, you know, and this is what we all about. And you, I'm pulling up the site right now so they can yeah. see it. And nice. you just see people. I, this is not anything I can fake. Yeah. You feel me? These are actual so fans. These did are you actual. set up? Did you set up this toy yourself, or you got representation? This is all me. You. That's all you. This right? is all me. Like everything I'm doing but right now. You got now. people behind you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. every time we 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 play your submissions or play your music, you got people retweeting us. Retweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you yeah. got a lot of supporters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and but that's that's how I build my fan base, one person at a time. You know. Yeah. Um, 
you know, one day it'll get to the point where I can just do something and 50,000 people just join in with me. But you got to get there. Hell yeah. yeah. You can't get to the 50. One step at a that, time. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So that, that's where I'm at right now. Um, just getting on the road. Putting myself, literally putting myself on the road. Like, I pay for my tour. Yeah. You know what I mean? I started in Denver. You know, I went out to Denver, came back to New York, opened for Dime a Dozen. Um, went out to Sacramento, came back out to Sacramento again, went to Santa Cruz, Nevada, took it out to Mexico. Um, Making moves, man. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's, yeah. it's just literally, like, not about sitting still, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not going to get anything sitting at the crib. You're trying to touch everything. Exactly. That campaign. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, that's nice. something. So... Is this a new site? This is a new site because I know you was doing something with MTV. What's yeah, yeah, yeah. That? Well, that's a that's a platform. Um, MTV, Beats Music, Spotify, those are all platforms. Okay. You know, at the end of the day, um, MTV is looking out for MTV. Yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and you know, when you turn on MTV right now, you're not gonna see my face. So I'm not yet. What I'm doing is I'm using MTV as as a platform just to let people know like I'm there, you know, at that and, level. Right. Yeah. You can find the music there, and you're able to track my tour and and you know download songs and watch videos. But it don't stop there. Like at the end of the day, I can't use that. And again, just go get fifty thousand fans. Like I have to go out there and and get them, you know, right. and go meet each you know each each fan. So. uh but I am there, you know, for those, that, you know, if, if you guys run with MTV, I know a lot, each of these different platforms have their own thing. Um, for example, like Beats Music, you know, you have to pay for that monthly. Yeah. So a lot of, a lot of my fans, and I think that was with, I want to say AT&T, right? So a lot of my fans, they're like, well, Stace, I don't want to pay for that just to listen to you. Cool. I got you. I'm on Spotify. That's free. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Free. Yeah. Some people like I don't listen to Spotify. Cool, it's on iTunes. So it doesn't yeah. matter what platform it's on. I you just make sure. There. Yeah, you All know the channels. Hell yeah. yeah, exactly. So it's available to everybody. I see here you nice. did it, the Cannabis Culture Music Festival. Yeah, that that was out in Denver. What was um, that like? That was uh, the you, you anybody smoke weed like. Yeah, I saw these guys. You know what I mean? You so, can't tell from their faces. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a, that was like <laughs> was a trick question for them. <laughs> no, I smelled it. You know what I mean? So I was, just, where's mine? You know? <laughs> but uh, nah, that that was my first time actually participating in 420, and uh, I I didn't want to do it at the crib, man. So I I kind of timed it just right. Yeah. I had this uh this interview with 303 Magazine out in Denver. And it just so happened to land on 420 weekend. And I'm like, oh, I'm about to go to this festival. And it, it I, if you've never been there before, there's literally, when the clock strikes 420, there's literally this smoke cloud. Sun, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> It's like the cloud you study in school, like the cirrus clouds, and it's literally like hovering right above the crowd. It's That's crazy. crazy. <laughs> it is so crazy. There's so much weed going around. Like, you don't even have to come with weed because it's going to come to you. You know what I'm saying? I That's mean, wild. It, and, and the thing was, um, Denver is also at a different altitude, too. Yeah. It's so up the, in the mountains. Yeah. So, it hit, but see, here's the thing I'm <laughs> thinking, you know, I was at the studio out there, and I'm like, they like, yo, you want to hit this? I'm like, what is this, man? Like, like past that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't even make it around three times, dog. And I was leaning. Like, I'm literally, like, leaning, like, to the right because the room <laughs> is leaning to the left. And I'm trying to balance it out. It was crazy. I've never been that high in my life, man. Never. It, it, it was had, uncomfortable, too. It was uncomfortable. With the altitude? Yeah. Because oh, yeah. it hits you different. Like, it's it's a different kind of air. I don't know. <laughs> the air is thinner. It's air is thinner. <laughs> it's something. It's just... <laughs> that's crazy and that joint was that joint was big too man so I mean it's pause uh, yeah my yeah, <laughs> ma major pause major but uh that's what's up though that's yeah up. man it's, you know it, I put that on the blog too so people can actually watch that video and just I, I put my my entire uh experience experience on the site so people can follow along nice now who's who's Emma Michelle and Michelle is is uh, a young lady on my label, Fly Company Music Group. She's a poet. 
Okay. So, uh, you know, I actually brought you guys a couple things from her, you know. Okay. She's, she's like... Uh, we haven't had any poets on here yet. Oh, really? Yeah. We haven't had any poets submit anything, so... And I always... Because I watch a lot of the spoken word on, like, yeah. BET and shit. Yeah. So, I, like, I be... That should be bringing tears to the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of the shits be deep, so I'm like, I would really, like... you know, That's one of the things that I, I would say that I would love to see. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't want to talk too much about her because I want her to come through. Oh, of course, of course. All right, you said she's out in Atlanta, but we'll yeah. fi- we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. So, what's this that you? What else did you give us here? So, you also have my mixtape. Um, now, this right here are the these are the newer songs that um, that are like my I guess my most well known okay mm-hmm. um, songs. So, it's getting harder to cheat. Yeah. Was uh, but you a, got the the music video for that one, right? Right, I got the ladies in that one. You <laughs> okay. know what I mean. And it's getting harder to cheat. Is um, it's a really really dope record. Not just because I made it, but it it really talks about um, the temptation that okay. a guy has to go through to stay faithful in yes. a relationship. Yeah. So that's why I said it's that, getting harder to for cramp. <laughs> 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 Fucking bitch. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely yeah, that's definitely something that's going, you know. Uh um, yeah. Crazy. But yeah, so there's a music video to that. Um that was on Hot Nine Seven. Nice. And then uh there's a couple R and B joints on there, some alternative records. So what is so you, you are you gonna come out with another album, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, what's this album gonna is it gonna be kinda like all the music that you're putting out now or is it gonna be a different kind of sound? Nah, this this album, um, as far as musicianship goes, it's going to be very, very musical. Okay. Um, not just trap beats. I mean, I know that's what's popular right now. You know, everybody kind of sounding the same. And I'm not saying everybody like just putting everybody together, but... No, you're not wrong. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's just, everybody sounds the same. Everybody it's just, sounds the same. I, I want the music... I'm really about music sounding authentic right now. That's That's what I'm really, really heavy on. Like, the music needs to sound... Up to par, yeah. Yeah, it just it needs wise. to have substance, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Production aside, like the club records are cool, and I guess this is where I separate myself. Like the club records are cool, and that might pop for like a year, right? But our Silence. generation, with us and and our kids, I want to be the prince of this generation. I want to be nice. the, you know, what I'm saying like I want you to grow up on my music. I want your kids to grow up on my music. I really don't see you passing down quote unquote record from the club to your kids like, oh man, this was the jam. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they, they this is not going to you know what I'm saying? It's Trying just like something timeless. Yeah. Something I'll follow yeah. through for next generation. Exactly. Yeah. It's just like our parents, like everybody remembers Michael Jackson or Prince yeah, or right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like we grew up on those records and those are timeless. So that's what I'm really into right now, just making timeless music i mean i still make some modern music too but so that's what this album is about just putting out some great music okay um, nice question yeah, yeah. oil-based fashion what is that exactly i just saw this right now yeah yeah yeah. no that's my clothing line oh yeah actually yeah oil-based nice. fashion it's um, check that right now yeah oil-based fashion.com if you guys want to check that out and it's um how'd you get that how did that come about that was well, very simple um i'm an artist yeah. You know what I mean? So very talented man, this guy. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank, oh, yeah. you. thank you. Um and I, I would actually like be designing something and I would have like paint splatters on my pants and yeah. on my clothes, right? So instead of changing, all I would do is like change my shoes and just throw on a clean shirt and I would just keep my work pants on. People like, son, where'd you get those you know, those those jeans? And I'm like, these are my work pants, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it just kind of like one thing led to another. So we kind of run with the whole paint uh, inspired and, and just uh, simple color with simple images. You know, we got a couple different logos up there. This is dope. Um, good luck. Um, we we start to get confused with Lil B right now because we are oil based fashion, right? Okay. So some of the hats, they just say based on it. Yeah. Oh, now we, I'm just giving you guys a little timeline. I had this back in 2006, 2005 is when I started this up. 2005, six, right? Yeah. Lil B was in the pack. Their first album was Bass Boys. 
right? Yeah. So when I started putting out clothes and it would say base girls and in base boy, you see that? Yeah, the bummer. Right? This is dope. Right? So it said base boys and base girls. That had nothing to do with Lil B in Lil the B. pack. But they took it. But they took it like, oh, you you rep that. And I'm like. That's cool. You got money from that. <laughs> 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 you, you ate know, off Lil B. It's okay. I mean, nah, I, I just, I, I'm really, really concerned about the brand association. So, uh, you know. You don't I, fuck with Lil B? Personally, nah. You know, I just to keep it 100. You know, I mean, <laughs> that's just a. I, I understand it. I understand his placement. Um, that nigga's a fucking weirdo. Well, <laughs> his his. Graham's gonna tell you like this. He don't have no. Type nah, of nah. But here's the thing. I I understand his placement. I may not like it. Where okay. placement? Where? Well, you. Hip-hop? Hit, here's the thing, How? man. You get you gotta. Fuck yo. His following is is crazy. <laughs> I don't see and why though. I, why. I mean, but I think I think that's that's the point. I see him as like a rapper slash comedian. I Yo, think I that's think the point. That's the thing too. Yeah. I think he's like mocking the whole industry. Like he's because any like I think he takes it really. He's seriously. taking. He's he's <laughs> and I think he's serious. That's the weird, that's the scary he's part. Mm-hmm. But I, I think because a lot of people they, like when when Soldier Boy came out and all these fucking crazy ass songs and just just stupid shit that make no sense and it's like it has what? no substance. Like this nigga got signed. He got a fucking contract yeah. or a label. Yeah. What the major labels at that? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. yeah. so then when he when when this dude came along, I'm like, come on. Yeah. Like seriously, when is it gonna stop? It, it's it, and again, this is why I say um, I'm really focusing on the the, the music. You know what I mean? Because I want to be around and I want these records to be timeless. I could make something dumb as fuck right now, and it just repeats. I'm in the club. What in the club? What in the club? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it, it, and it might be hot for a month, but that's not gonna be around. It's not gonna last. And I just want to make music that lasts forever. So that's what it is, man. I respect it, nice. and, I, and, I, and I and I and I look forward to hearing it because the shit that's going on now is just is uh it's too much. Fuck with it. Nah, it's just like I can't, I can't. Like when I'm in my car, I want to listen. I want to vibe out. I can't listen to half the shit that's going on right now. Right, neither can I. Which is why I don't. And the radio, it's fucking, de- it's yo, like, radio it's, is declining like crazy. It's declining. Yo, it's at, at sometimes high ninety seven, one hundred five, and um um one hundred Z to beat, whatever the fuck they called. They're playing the same, <laughs> same exact song, song exactly. at the same yeah. exact time. I'm like, what yeah. the exactly. fuck? Everything's I'll gonna be, be on WBLS. Song. Listening exactly. to might as well just listen to the formalities because it's then, yo, basically it's crazy. And we play we play music too, but we got a whole range of stuff. So right, we go from EDM to right. hip hop right. to all type of shit. So. Right, and that's what I appreciate, man. Yeah, we watching this documentary here, Stacey's documentary. It's just about giving people the um, the the ultimate that I think that right that place was like in Atlanta. Um, that was one of the the first studios I had. Is that nice in stuff. the show? Nah, she her name is Reese. Oh. You can't talk about it. They pe- people can't see it, Cram. Fuck it. But but they they can they can see it on my YouTube. Yeah, but, you um, can see it on his YouTube. The Holy Batman. Documentary. Yeah. Shout out to Reese, man. She just had a kid, and uh, I uh, in my Bound Two freestyle, I was like, shout out to the nigga who got Reese pregnant, cause <laughs> this guy, you know, she she was in the It's Getting Harder to Cheat video too. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that. yeah. I try to keep the ladies around when I can. Then you got any more questions? Yeah. um, Your next project, what's your concept behind that? Um, Well, the talented Mr. Ridgeway kind of plays off of the talented. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, And and basically in that movie, he, he killed somebody he looked up to to ultimately become him. Now, it didn't work out, but that's not the point. Um <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm I'm basically uh reemerging or it's like a rebirth not really killing my old self um but just growing and maturing into um you know what I am now and and you know what I will be blah 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 yeah, hell yeah. so um my my number one goal is to let people know I'm talented yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the talents at Mr. Ridgeway just literally comes straight out with this is what it is. 
this is the album. Yeah. This is the point. Nice. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we just go from there. Um, and like I said, sonically, just musically, you know, you, you're really going to hear some depth with the album. Like, I, I promise you. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. That's, that's it. Can't wait to hear that, yo. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. As, as the video is playing, I'm looking at your, your, your head array and it says stuff maker. Yeah, in the video, how to yeah. make bombs. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, how to make fake bombs? And he's got this like styrofoam ball and sparkles and shit like that, and it looks legit. So I'm like, <laughs> I, I try, I really stuff maker. He's I, yeah, yeah, you look like a character, man. You're, I I don't you have a I, lot of fun. I, yeah, I don't really think people appreciate um <laughs> art. <laughs> you know what dope. I'm saying? Like th- this is this is one of the rehearsals that we had. You know, yeah. just. Just really showing them the the process of an independent musician. I'm not just the nigga who just shows up, recites a couple words, and then leaves. Like yeah. this is an entire process. There's rehearsals. There's props. There's a, a team. There's a tour. There's there's literally so many moving parts to this. And I film everything. Yeah. And I put it up on the site for everybody to follow along. Like there's no reason you should not be in tune. But what you're doing exactly because i'm giving you every part of it like i'm not hiding anything yeah you know what i'm saying and i'm, I'm showing you how i'm doing it you know nice. um going to buy the costumes and and just putting everything shorty is beautiful i'm sorry i keep hitting this <laughs> mic but um yo question yeah let's say you wake up tomorrow and like one of your videos popped off mm-hmm. you're getting emails from record labels they want to sign you would you follow up and get signed or would you go the independent route that's a great question um as of right now i think i'd be more interested in like a distribution deal unless a label could really line up with the vision yeah yeah with the vision now let's just let's just be honest there's no way that you are going to outrun the radio and tv so i don't want to be stupid right Mm -hmm. i don't want to sit up here and tell you guys man fuck that ain't gonna sign I'm, i'm gonna keep it 100 you let the right offer come by and i'm signing but I just want to make sure that when I sign or whenever the opportunity comes, they're not trying to tell me to change my name to Stace Clown and yeah. make me wear this. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want yeah. to be owned, oh, but yeah, I, I just yeah. want to make sure that they'll be able to, to run with me because I'm already making noise. Mm-hmm. So it's not like I'm reaching out. Oh, man, help me. You know what I'm saying? Play my record. Do yeah. this. You know, it, I'm I'm already doing that. Just we do just want to make sure. You, all right. For, yeah. Like, you see all these independent artists. Do you think independent artists are going to go forward? All right. Do you think more people are going to be independent and pop off Not, like, on major levels? If, if they don't work this every day, all day like I do, you're not going to be successful. See, I don't do anything but this. Yeah. I don't clock in. Yeah. I don't have a job anywhere. Mm-hmm. So you're not going to walk in the Best Buy, McDonald's, and you know, I get off at 5 o'clock. This is it. And I'm, that's not knocking anybody with a job. It's just simply saying there's no way. I don't care what your dream is. You want to be a graphic designer, an artist. If you want to be a railroad conductor, there's no way you're going to be successful if you don't give your dream 110%. I see so many people, they they give their job, dig this, they give their job eight hours, eight hours a day. And they come home and they give their dream 30 minutes right before they go to sleep. Yeah. Which one do you think is going to progress more? There's no way that you can give your job eight hours and give your dream 30 minutes and you think you're going to be successful. It just, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. You know? So as far as the independence, like, yeah, you can make it, but you got to be willing to work harder than Stace. You got to be willing to literally, (laughs) you understand what I'm saying? You got to live it. You you got to live it. It's got to be an everyday thing. Like every day, this is what you have to do. That's just, there's no other way. Who are some artists that you look up to? Very specifically, Pharrell, Ryan Leslie, Kanye West, and Swiss Beats. That's it. Nice. Those, those four, and only only because now, I mean, there's a lot of other musicians that I look up to, um, like Michael Frakes, or, you know, and I'm, I'm talking about some jazz cats, or, you know, if we talk about Billie Holiday, or Queen, or, you know, whatever have you, but if you're talking about exactly, like, where I see myself going, and cats who are already doing what i'm doing um that's that's where i see okay. you know that direct like that was a that was a, a sh- pretty straightforward yeah but it was <laughs> legit I fuck with the list oh, yeah. yeah i mean it's very it's very specific you know what i'm saying like it's very you know that's what it is 
So, you got anything else, Cram? Nah, just. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't. I, like, cause like he said, like, cause like, if had he been like, you know, halfway in, I don't. You couldn't do none of this stuff. And is and you're giving it. You definitely He's are giving, giving it. Oh yeah, yeah, making it yeah. happen. Yeah. Yeah. The the video I like I, I like what you're saying. I like everything that you're pushing out because I want all these rappers to make sure that this is you're setting a standard. Yeah, you coming in here with your with your stuff to promote. Right, you cut you going on tours. You going places. You perform where you need to perform. Right, you documenting everything. Right, you're on the social media, you got piece of people retweeting you, sending it out. You're sending your emails out. That's how we found about you through an email. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah if yeah, you're yeah. not doing all these things, and you're not every if you don't. If you're not everywhere, then you know it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so, you're having fun with it too. So it's yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's it's all fun. Too, like, yeah. It's all fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a clown when I need to be, man. But uh, we right now, I know you guys don't know what's going on sitting at the house. But if you want to log on to YouTube and watch the Holy Batman documentary, uh, you do magic. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, we were just we're watching this the behind the scenes video, and it just shows how I got all of the costumes and just prepared for these roles. Um, and right now, we're looking at the dude playing penguin, you know. So we had to go get him a tux, you know, get him fitted, and I mean, it just shows the process, man. Yeah. Like this, this, you know, I don't really consider this like a job, man. I'm literally like having fun you know what i'm saying you, you. And, and you gotta you gotta enjoy your, you gotta enjoy your job though yeah 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 oh, yeah. yeah some sometimes the records depending on the record it doesn't really go across like it should uh holy batman didn't really take that well um i don't think people understood what i was trying to do with it i think they thought it was a joke um and i, I could see why they would think that but um but it's you man but yeah it, you know i we have fun with it, you know. That's what's up. So, Cram, Cram, you got news? You want to take a break I mean, and get into news and stuff? We could, we Are you gonna stick around? Man, I'm, I'm here to the end. All right, cool. Okay. This is it. So let's take a break, and then we'll come back with some news. Lenny oh, will look yeah. it up, and more Stace, I guess. We'll talk to Stace more. <laughs> we'll see what's popping. All right. Word. It's the formalities. Get out, United Nations. You know you're tuned into the formalities. Check it out at theformalities.com over any podcast. We got Klims, Cram, and Lenny and Gunned over here just breezing it and cooling in the New York atmosphere. Again, that is the formalities at theformalities.com over any podcast. Get out. Are we back? It's the formalities. Theformalities.com. With the site. Thank you for helping me find this song, Lenny. No I was looking for this song for like <laughs> four fucking Yo, weeks. funny thing is, I was like, yo, did you hear about Rory? Nah, who's that? This kid. Did that outcast. This kid who outcast. Yeah. Whatever, forget that kid. And then <laughs> yeah, I bumped the video. Kid. He's like, yo, what song is that? <laughs> like, I need, I was looking for that. Yo, <laughs> I was I, like, that's I the was, dude you just like shunned on. Like, <laughs> I was literally looking for this song <laughs> for like weeks. I seen the music video on Revolt. I was like, who the fuck is this? Yeah. And then the song just cut off. I was like, shit. I didn't write down who the fuck it was. Yeah, it's about to pop off. Oh, I need a mix too, man. I need it. Uh, Outcast just held him right. down, yo. A mix for my, for my car. Download on SoundCloud. I just did a mix for Rip I Radio can't, last week. I can't. I, I don't have. I can't it's on use SoundCloud. The, I can't use the MP3. Um, auxiliary? The nah, cord? Auxiliary either. Nah. Damn. Let's listen to this Rory real quick. Alright. So you got news, Karen? So what's good here? Yeah, yeah what's, what's been buzzing around New York all fucking week? For the past week and a half, two weeks? Into the news. Newsman! Newsman! So, if you haven't already heard, Angie Martinez Get up. from Hot 97 is now working for Power 105. Power 105. One. Starting in July, I think the first or second week of July, she'll have her own, se- her own segment. So obviously, she was gonna. Um, I watched the interview what she had with the Breakfast Club. Yeah, and she's got she's getting more money, 
Um, there's more opportunities because, you know, Power 105, they play down in um, Miami. Yeah. So she'll, her show will be heard down there. So a lot of more adventurous. She said she can expand. She can grow. And a lot of people are saying it's disloyal of her to go to the rivaling radio. You think, you think but I'm so, like, Stace? I don't believe it's disloyal. I think if there's an opportunity to make more money. I'm going to let him finish. Okay. I'm out. But like she said, she wanted to grow. She can't. She There's nothing she could do there. You know what I'm saying? And her her team was supporting her. High 97 supported her move, but you know, it's whatever. Yeah. Like, because a, a lot of the people that's on there right now, like fucking Mr. C and Funkmaster Flex, like, where are they going? That's all they have right now. Who knows? Let's hear what Stace has to say. I, I got to agree, man. Um, loyalty is only... Loyalty is only as strong as the level of success it can reach. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's just at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You you could build this team, whether it be basketball, that's the LeBron James plug, you know what I'm saying? Or, or whether it's radio, or it doesn't matter. Any team, like once these players get together, once these units come together, if they cannot achieve a level of success together, yeah, they're going to break apart. Yeah, and loyalty it, doesn't matter then. You speaking know what I'm of LeBron, isn't he a free agent or some shit like that? Yeah. July first, he's mm-hmm. supposed to be. It's crazy. Like, what, what's going crazy. on? Uh, Mellow it, too, right? Mellow is too. Yeah, like it's going down. Yeah. The Knicks is about yeah. like I heard. I heard LeBron is trying to go to wherever Mellow trying to go. Yeah. That's crazy. It's going. Down. I heard they so that's what I heard. Going to, to the Lakers. I don't know if that's true or not. Lakers? No, that would be that would too. But that would Kobe, scary. Bron, and Mello. <laughs> oh my god! Talk about a fucking three headed monster. That'd be the new. That'd be the new. That'd be the new giant. And watch how many fucking Laker fans we have. Yeah, been. everybody from the Heat's gonna come to the Lakers. <laughs> yeah, I was reading this article. It was talking about how they said LeBron might go to the Knicks. Yeah, because I mean, of if that Mello, fan base. But if Melo stays and like goes back to the Knicks, LeBron probably go win it. Because I heard yeah. LeBron is going wherever Melo's going. Yo, can't ha- can't have them too though. But you got to think about that. How are they going to pay them two motherfuckers? Oh, Somebody they'll, they'll, got they'll, the money. Yeah, they'll get the money. Somebody got but the you, money. You know what Clippers, happens. maybe. They just Whoever trade. just bought the Clippers about to pick what? up them up, man. Yo, but did you, did you hear about the Clippers? What happened? What happened? He, bought, he originally bought the Clippers oh, yeah, for yeah. like $50 million. Mm-hmm. Um, Donald Sterling. Donald Sterling. So he's, now his wife. Bought it. His wife like kind of inherited it. Uh-huh. And yeah. she flipped that shit. To Billy. For two bill. Damn, that's a come up. The most ever, the like the most ever paid for an NBA um team. The that's most very ever. Crazy, man. That's disrespectful. It is, the highest ba- the highest paid team right now is like a hundred mil. She very flips it for three billion though. Demand that's wild. And though. and Donald Sterling, ha, fuck you niggers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And he's back with the V. The but B. he still owns the land. Yeah, yeah, he does though. around it's, the area. Yeah. Old, so none of Massa. that matters. He flipped it and still kicking. <laughs> old that's crazy. Massa. But he's been doing, yo. He's been doing a lot in the black community. Have you noticed? When what, lately, went to the church. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Charity yeah, events yeah. with black people, like <laughs> photograph. Yo, Get yeah. the fuck out of here, yeah, yo. Yeah. If you Google Donald Sterling right now, and, and images, who's accepting this? All the black, well, not 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 many, but they're like, you know, they're, he's trying to, you know, show that money talks, man. Yeah, he's nice. been making contributions. Man, you you let you let a million show up in the collection plate. That's shiesty shit. It, it, fuck, because no but it's money, money though. It's money fuck though. The money. The money never changes who you are. It clearly is deep down inside. Things. You still that same dumbass racist motherfucker. I it's not gonna it. change <laughs> shit. Just because you throw out a couple <laughs> dollars, hey, you could like me. But hey, all right, we like this nigga for a minute. They might be. They might just be accepting. It well, for that's the what donation. I was saying. Like they just doing it. They just accepting they just it doing it for the, for the, for the, the money for yeah. the money. Which is shasty. Whoever the church that is is not a good church. What pastor you know? Did you hear about the motherfuckers over here? I don't want to talk about churches. Oh gosh, I don't want to talk about churches. Church is crazy. Please. These niggas yeah. don't want to talk about churches. Pyramid schemes <laughs> out the ass. <laughs> the whole church system is a scheme. But um, <laughs> I, just, I just I just don't want to. He threw that out there. Real quick. So yeah, that that um that's all the news I have as far as Angie Martinez now a member of the Power One Hundred Five family. All right, I got and, news um, over here. Oh wait, hold up. Go ahead. What's good? What nah, up? Nah, you go, you go, you go. Go what? ahead. It's, what it's, up? It was, it was, it was the whole. Um, it was it's like a rumor? It's not really news. No, I don't want. No, to what is it? What's good? Go ahead, go ahead. He got news. Let him finish the news and not <laughs> go into the rumor. <laughs> Another news. Man, 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 man. Frank Ocean just dropped his entire management. His entire management. 
What? Yeah. Even the dudes who like manage Odd Future, like Ooh, Christian yeah. Clancy Christian and all these dudes. And Kelly Clancy mm-hmm. dropped. He dropped from the agency. He's now with Hollywood Agency IP. So he's like kind of truly independent. He's he's only with the agency that does like Alicia Keys, Jennifer Lawrence, stuff like that. That's the only thing. So he's getting his touring shit from the Speaking agency. Speaking of Frank, but he has Ford. no management, no nothing. <laughs> Speaking of Frank Ocean, the game just re- re- released a song recently, a single called "Bigger Than Me," mm-hmm. and part of his hook says, "Go ahead." Wait, I no, he I says that. He says something along the lines as, "Go have Frank Ocean, fuck these niggas," or some shit like that. <laughs> Damn, like he gave Frank Ocean the, the green light to fuck. I think he's trying to squash the whole shit because he's trying to build his brand itself. But I guess the game is definitely on um, making noise with that track. Word. How y'all feel about the G and the shit? I think the shit is corny. I don't think it's really? gonna, it's not gonna it's not gonna come back. Hey, as, what do you think? As, 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 as it once was. Nah, I don't think it. Authenticity, man. Thing. I mean, when you start something, it's just like Mace coming in and out. You yeah. just can't do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but Mace did drop heat on that Troy Yav shit though. Yeah, it's your style. Ma- <laughs> See, and, and this this is what we was talking about earlier, just longevity, man. One song might be hot for a week, a month, hey. in the club or whatever, but we, like if we still looking for that ninety seven mace. Yeah. Honestly, just, I don't I don't like mace. You ain't like him back then? Back then I could tolerate him. I don't like him. <laughs> what what was it? I don't fuck with him. What was it? Like you gotta break it's it too, down. Like all right, he's just too lollipoppy. You think so? Yeah. What you mean by that? But what? I fuck I fuck with Mace back in the day. I fuck with him. After like once welcome back and all the mm-hmm. shit, mm-hmm. I, I can't. Yeah. Welcome back. Right, right. I couldn't do it. Breathe, stretch, shake. But people uh-uh. but people really <laughs> got he on brought, my back. He brought the all got black Yankee fitteds out though. He started that with that video. What? All black Yankees. All black Yankee fitteds. I remember that. I wanted one when that video came out with the black no, t shirt. I think I think but, he, but people gave me a lot of backlash about that because I was like, "Yo, Mace is fucking whack." Like the first time he was trying to come back because it's legendary. And I was like, "Fuck, this shit is whack." I said it straight up on Twitter. <laughs> Everybody got cowed at me. How the fuck? It's fucking Mace. <laughs> this is New York Murder right Mace. here. You got it. Yeah. Da, da, da. I was like, "Yo, yeah. Mace is not even that popping." He but got the, like four joints. But the honestly. flow. But but the flow that he the, like the flow his flow. And his whole unique. persona is like okay. So is Little no. B. <laughs> no, no, I see no, what no. you did right there. What Little see, B? I see Why what you, you, you talking about the flow is so unique. So is Little B. No, but it's he the, got a different the flow, cla- different unique. It's the he got a few joints, flow. and that's it's it. Classic flow. It's the it's the when you hear Mace on the track, you think of the nine seven nine five. You know, like, you know Mace. You but push T. Fucking, but Pusha T got a song that sounds just like Mace. Yeah. So I, just Ma- I, I have no problem with Pusha T being the new Mace. Which what song one? is that? He got it's a song. on the album. I it's forgot. on his album. He does. He does a whole like tribute to Mace on it, and he sounds just like Mace. What, what album? I got whoa, whoa. on the new. My name is my name. Yeah. I see if I can pull what it up for you. Hold up. That album, like the Pusha Push T and Fab, or like a good collab right there. Wasn't Fab on the album? Nah, no. Oh well, that's all the album needed. 
<laughs> it's a so good album think, solid so he who do you Bonnaroo. think is, is really gonna pop off next like these new artists coming up do you think the anybody's gonna pop I mean off? obviously I feel like Rory's gonna pop off cause he's getting well, that kick Rory, the Rory yeah I, cause I mean, but I don't know. It's just one two song? joints. He has two joints right now. That one song, I, he's he's gonna pop off, but how he's not? I don't like, think I don't really see him staying unless I hear like, more music. like more long like longevity on like, his career. Yeah, who's gonna right, be where? like the, that next legend? Do you think legend? I don't know about legends. legend. Yes, like that that's next kind of pushing it a little far. But as I, of new school I, kids right now, like I have no take right now, on that. Like who could be on the next Drake level? No. Nah, no. Chance, Chance the Rapper is fell off over. It's I don't even know who the guy. fuck that is. But Yo, he killed Bonnaroo, guy. though. He killed Bonnaroo. He yeah. had like one of the best performances. I, his music, his to, music has no longevity with me. The whole cause we, had a, we had an episode about, we was talking about Troy Ave. No. I'm going <laughs> to say Troy Ave because Why? of his connect, Stop. like who he knows Stop. and style. Stop it. I'm telling you. Stop it. No. He's going to blow. He's dope. He's going to blow. When? But he's just he blew like, already. It's over. You think it's over? It's over. He Next summer, that. you're gonna say who the fuck is Shoyaf? It's over, man. If he didn't put out, if he don't put out a mixtape in the next three months, it's over, B. But look at, but like, I don't think I don't. Then, it, then if it's not, I'm him, giving him three to four no months. Is gonna blow, I'm I giving him three blow. to four months to pop off again, really big. If that's that's it, and then that's it. That's all I'm giving him right now. Shoyaf is is. I had hope for him back in bricks <laughs> in my backpack too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've honestly never listened to any of his projects. It wasn't like really I just listen, I like the one me. song, Your Style. And Remix. you think he's gonna pop off that? Because it shit is way Diddy. Because of Diddy and Mason Ti. <laughs> uh-huh. Shit is live, man. It's not even I'm telling you. It's not even him. Stays. Who do you think? Out of these new artists, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay out of this. Besides one. yourself, Sting yeah, might, I'm gonna stay out of this one. Um, he might be a swiper on the low. Who? Troy Ave. Stop. Come on. I, I, <laughs> that, that's a really hard one, man. Because. I, I just first of all I don't listen to the radio. Yeah. No. Yo, me neither. Nah. Who do you listen, listen to, to the on internet day to day? Like who? Who's on your? You just pulled up your iTunes. Who's in your iTunes? Oh, I got a lot of people in the iTunes. Like, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? I got Pharrell right next to Police. You know what I'm saying? With some Roxanne shit. Like I got a lot of people in the <laughs> iTunes. But just to be honest, can I be honest? Yeah. yeah be honest. honest. That's all we are tolerate here. I just I listen to myself every day. That's that's just keeping it one hundred. You know what I mean. Word. Now, besides the the artists that I t- I told you guys about earlier, you know, I listened to them and and some older cats like uh, Sam Cooke, James Brown, Solomon Burke, um, like I told you, Queen, um, the Average White Ben. Like these these are act, th- these are acts that are not on the radio. Yeah. You know what I mean. It's just because i'm i'm creating right now i can't really immerse myself in a bunch of new artists because then i start thinking like what i hear okay, and yeah, i and, yeah. it, and and that might be kind of difficult for some people who are listening right no, now to, to you know what i'm saying but it, it's just kind of like what you eat what you eat you're gonna start shitting out what you listen to you're gonna start creating right, right and right, that's right. the process like i don't want to get involved in just that trap is it, is it yeah, hard yeah. is it hard though because like i mean you're around people 24 7 so like what if the like i'm like i mean i'm taking it to an extreme but like what if you're like if you hear the radio and you're in a car with somebody and they're playing mm-hmm. radio, do you ask them to change the station no 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 it's it, it's not it's not like oh i can't don't play anything <laughs> <Please>. around <laughs> don't play nothing around me fam don't play it, it, it's not it's it's not it's like not station. i don't want to hear it. <laughs> it, it it's <laughs> it's not like that <laughs> no nah, yo it's, it's not like that man it's just uh, some people like kill themselves with just music. Like they're always listening to I'm music. Always listening. Just like <laughs> always. I'm always. Yeah. I'm probably listening to music always. right now. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Like sometimes <laughs> I listen to everything. But I, but you know what? I don't know. My ear is so different that I I know exactly what's gonna hit and exactly what's not, and yeah. I'll erase everything that I know is not gonna hit. Right. And I'll pull in what I what I know is will hit. All right. So I just need to send you my new shit then, so you can just go <laughs> ahead. Uh, and I mean, that's, tell that's me the my way future. I work. Like you the ab, like the Ab Soul mixtape. Mm-hmm. I downloaded it. It's like two I, three good ones. Nothing else. Three three. These I went through trees. it. This one. No. Nah. And what, you just did, you just three? delete the three? tracks you didn't. I just delete everything. I said, okay, this is bullshit. <laughs> This one's okay. Yo. This one's cool. <laughs> this one's the hit. Yo, so and what were I'm the three you picked? These, these trees. I, I can't. The Kendrick I Lamar. I don't know offhand because I still have the whole album here, so I I gotta delete it. But I know there's this one. The um, I just want to have fun. You fuck just with have Kendrick? Fun. 
Yeah, hell fuck yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Chemistry. yeah. Yo, his new project's gonna be crazy. The just have fun, the just have fun record popping, and I think Rusty produced that, and that Rusty is the new. He's on the come up, crazy. That's a good producer. That's on the come up. <laughs> I fuck with producers. I follow a lot of producers. Yeah, hell yeah. So I'm a producer producers, first. Producers are the new rock. I'm stars. a producer first, so I fuck I fuck with a lot of producers. Right. So I could already tell like. This like some projects, it could be from a rapper you never heard of, but just because of the production, you'll be like, "All right, this is gonna be a good yeah, track right. because well, of that producer." Not necessarily. That's true. how I'll be looking at it because the HS eighty seven album that came out just now, mm-hmm. I was under what is yeah. complete trash. <laughs> <laughs> there's, I was expecting there's maybe fire. two joints on there, and <laughs> that's not that's including the single. So mm-hmm. it's just and Pit Boy is amazing. Yeah. And the tracks sound good, but then they lose you. Yeah, exactly. Because and, like, somebody's just, in there telling them what to do. Mm-hmm. I can tell. I, just I, by listening. I would much rather listen to Hit Boy produce than rap and be by himself yeah. than with a group. Because um, Hit Story, his yeah. his first project, that was good. you liked it? Yeah, I fucks with that. It's way better than We the Plug than what they put in. Yo, now Come as You Are was really good. Audio push. Yeah, audio that push by really themselves good. is really good too. It's just that was my favorite one they put out so far. Too many people in the mix sometimes. It yeah, I lost. mean, yeah, that's that's the problem with the we the plug. It's new here, it's new people yeah, on there. Yeah. Like it's you got to introduce going on the new. At the same that's time. what that's what makes TD such TD apart from the other groups because these people all jump on. and You're like, who the fuck is this guy? Mm-hmm. Who's this guy? Who's this girl? Mm-hmm. Like TDE, they introduced like when SZA came out. You got introduced to SZA. She got a whole project, and that was there. it. And yeah. that was it. Then Before the next, you got right, the collab. Right, right. And then they did Isaiah Rashad and SZA right. collab to get you familiar with them. Right. Before they put Kendrick on it. Mm-hmm. So they gave whoever. you time to get. They give you time yeah, to know yeah. who these artists are before you put them all together. Right. And yeah. And think exactly. they're that the next G unit. Yeah. Like Section sense. 80 when they did uh, Absol's Like interview. Section 80, yeah. That makes sense. And you he came fit, with a hard f- verse. It was But Absol was out before that too. True that, yeah. He had some shit before that too. But that really reintroduced you to Absol exactly. and shit like that. Like, I didn't know about him before that interlude. I was like, yo, yeah. he said some really dope That's why, shit like, there. J-Rock is the only, like, kind of feature on Good Kid, Mad City. Because not a lot of people fuck with, like, no J-Rock. Though. Yeah. And he's switching up his style and different things going out. So when J-Rock comes, it's going to be crazy. Yo, Isaiah Rashad's project was mean. I mean, because it was fresh and it was just him. Yeah. He didn't have a lot. He didn't have features on it. And, like, like that. the concept behind it was dope, too. So it's, it's it's the way you put it out and the way things are. What's up? That's it. My news was the Absol mixtape. Oh, the Absol. Um, the Jay Z Beyonce tour. You saw that? Yeah. Looks pretty dope. It's boring. Pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it one hundred. It's typical boring. Yeah, what do you think about that trailer though? You saw the trailer. The, the trailer. The trailer was dope. Yeah, the trailer man. Was I'm dope. sorry. Oh and you God. know what's funny? I, like I was that. like, yo, when is this shit coming out? Exactly. Right? Yeah. Exactly. She said never. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Yo, they had the the A one the A list actors yeah. in it. Yo, that shit was legit. Yeah. I would yeah. definitely go see that movie had it been real. <laughs> that was real. That was a real shit. You and went to the movies lately. Dude, no, I, I, I got sleep and wanting to see some movies. I've been slacking. I've been to the movies. Pris- Prisoners. You see, Anybody? Uh, oh, definitely. That's, that's, yeah. on, that's on HBO. Yeah, yeah. Which one's that? Who's see, that? I, that's I the last time you've been in there? I don't really get a chance to go. <laughs> you know what I <laughs> mean? Like, oh, I might call on some shit that, like, World of Worlds. Like, what? Oh, shit oh, came out oh, three oh, years ago. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, but nah. Um, nah, Prisoners is a dope movie. Who's in that? What's that about? Oh, you, you just gotta watch it. I haven't seen it yet. It's on, it's you just gotta Netflix. watch. It's one of those movies you just gotta watch. Yeah. I, I don't want to tell yeah. you nothing about it. Just yeah. turn it on and watch. But there's right. a lot of A listers in there though. Yeah. Um, the last movie I've it's seen in the, though, was the X-Men. theaters. I yeah, that was dope. Like, yeah, I, didn't I seen like Think it. Like a Man. Yeah, like I I, I need to go like see that. I seen that. I seen that. Like a Man. Two days ago. How was that? Kevin Hart is killing right now. It was cool. And he had another movie coming out. It was cool. I mean, it's 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 funny. It's Kevin Hart. It's I didn't cool. like Ride Along. He's got more movies coming out though. Yeah, it, when you see Think Like a Man, right there's more previews for more Kevin Hart movies. He's fucking on the roll right now. Yeah, his head, his head is so big. But um, the last one I seen was Godzilla was <laughs> super trash. Horrible. You didn't like Godzilla? Horrible. You liked it? Oh man, super trash. I tried to watch it twice. I didn't even. I fell asleep watching this shit at work. That's fucking bad. That's why you watching that work. Yo, the shit was garbage. You got to see it in the movies. Epic, big. Godzilla. It yeah. took too long shit. to see this nigga. It was slow. Nah, 
It was, it was a God- an hour in. I still didn't even see this nigga. It's, see the God- it's Godzilla. Go yeah. back. Watch the original Godzilla. I've seen that. I loved it. I watched that over and over. So why you didn't like that one? Because your man is not doing what he needs to do. He's bugging out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, last movie I saw was Grand Budapest Hotel. That was hey, how it. was that? It was dope, man. What is I it about? See that. I, I see saw that. it because of the fucking director. Mm-hmm. And like his you visual game is crazy. It's very symmetrical. It's not a post. What's it about? Like, what up? The Grand Budapest Hotel. It's like a concierge who inherits this chick he had an affair with. She was so like, it's, an like old lady. it's like the um the movie with um Forrest Whitaker. I don't even know what you're the talking butler? about. Butler? No. Nah, no, no, no. This is that. completely different. This is like a comedy slash like yeah. So is so it like, like the Royal Tenenbaums? Does <clears throat> it have that feel to it? Yeah, exactly. Like, okay. like yeah. the theme, the colorways, yeah, the yeah, oranges, yeah, yeah, the reds. Yeah. So basically, he's like the concierge for this hotel, the Grand Budapest Hotel, mm-hmm. and um, he has affairs with old women, like all the time <laughs> and shit. So fucking one of them dies. She has like a lot of his shit or her shit on his on her will, and the family gets mad. So like most of the family members are out to kill him. So they like well, frame damn. him, saying that he killed somebody. So he escapes from jail. It's all it's like comedy. Movie. And this is a comedy. Yeah, it's no, funny as shit. Yeah, I gotta watch that. It's like that dry humor. Right, yeah. right. I gotta watch that. So what y'all doing tonight? I got a go few home. things lined up. I'm gonna go home and work. I want to go to Brooklyn, but same. Yo, there's that uh fucking Yo, we Webster out. Hall party tonight. The Vashti joint. Go see joint. Transformers. <laughs> Transformers didn't come out tonight. It comes out tonight. Midnight. Yeah. No, Midnight? it does come out July 27th. Tonight. Google. Bombaclad. <laughs> Hit them Yo, with the is drop. There a theater nearby. I'm with it. Yeah. Midnight though. Midnight. What we about to do in the meantime? In between time. I mean, we go to the city, dude. Turn up. Yeah, I think we need to go to the city. Cause <laughs> drop stays so. up. We could drop stays. <laughs> so this way he get a ride straight there. Yo, let's go. You down? I'm down. All right, man. Crown. We can go to Does the AMC go? Regal <laughs> Theater. <laughs> All right, yo. <laughs> that's the show. Shout out to Stace for yeah, coming mother. through. Hey, good luck for yo, having me. Yo, it's on man. at 10 and 11, too. Yo, um, <laughs> wait. Stace. <laughs> Stace. Wait. Today. Yo, wait. Oh, everybody, everybody, everybody. Shush, shush. Happy birthday, Stace. I need order. What? Happy birthday. It's his birthday. Seriously? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, was like, I, was, I was like, it is? <laughs> uh, all right, yo, Stace, plug, plug, get shit. So everybody Where can, can they there. find you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you just need to be at on one place. That's my official website, www.stace. That's S-T-A-C-E, stace.co, stace.co. Um, well, you know, I'm on tour right now, the talented Mr. Ridgeway. I just dropped the fan club, so you you guys can sign up for that, send you a bunch of free info and, and things like that, keep you connected, man. That's pretty much it. That That's that's the only place you need to be. Stace.co. All right. Lene. Lene. Follow me at L E N A Y E E E. Three E's. Holla. And Cram, <laughs> which the new Twitter? Okay. No more Instagram. I'm, I may come back with the Instagram come August. <laughs> I had to give this shit a break. Um, so I am on Twitter only for the for the time being. Um, I am Cram C R A A A. That's three A's, two M's. C R A A A M M Cram, holla at your boy. All right, I'm Clemps. Follow me on Twitter at Clemps. I'm not gonna spell it. You should know. Peace. <laughs> Wait. What? Podcast. No. <laughs> <Culture>. <laughs> right. Fucked it up. Fucked it up. Wait, say it. Say it. Yeah. If we all can say, I'll say music, podcasts, culture. <laughs>